Hi guys! Uh, so today I'm going to shoot an updated makeup collection and here is my makeup. So I have sort of two little areas. Uh, this little shelf here and then I have this rolly cart here. So we'll go through each area. Okay, so this is sort of my upper area. Um, back here I have a palette. Uh, it's the Ariel palette that I just have here because it's pretty. And I have these three taller cups back here. I have my jumbo lip pencils here. And I have a couple different brands. I have uh, a Revlon matte lacquer and just their regular lip balm. Then I have a, a Jordana, a Wet n Wild, a Clinique, a Flower by Drew Barrymore, and one more Revlon. And this is the top of a, a Sephora travel brush holder. Then I have my lip liners. This was like a little buxom lip gloss set that pulled out like a drawer so I just emptied it out and use it to hold lip liners. Then I have one more little jar back here and this has my collection of Stila glosses and my Rimmel Apocalypse or show off collection. So I keep these out and all together because they're the two most pigmented lines of gloss. So if I don't feel like doing a lipstick, then I'll grab one of these glosses. And then I have this lipstick rack that I got from Container Store. In there I have my CoverGirl lipsticks. My favorite of these is Bombshell and Spellbound. But these are just the original formula. And these are really good lipsticks. Then I have my Maybelline. These are all Vivids. My favorite of these is Hot Plum. Then I have my Revlon lip products. Uh, these are my lip butters and these are also Revlon but these are a different formula. They're the super lustrous formula. Uh, so I have one in black cherry which was like a limited edition packaging but I think they have black cherry all the time. And then this is new. I haven't tried it yet. It's uh, Kissable Pink. I have two MAC lipsticks, that's all. Uh, one is Girl About Town and one is Snapdragon. Then I have some Estee Lauder, I think. These are the Pure Color Envy. And these Pure Color Envy lipsticks are really nice. This is a limited edition packaging. This is a color I really like, Tiramisu. And then the other one is Candy Pink, which is a little too frosty. And then on the end here I just have three random things. This is a Lancome nude. This is an e.l.f. super moisturizing in Cheeky. And this is a, I have one sleek lipstick and this is in Papaya Punch. So those are my lipsticks. And then I keep my Urban Decay 15th anniversary eyeshadow palette right here because I think it just looks pretty. And it also has a, a really big mirror that I can just grab to use to put my makeup on. And then it just has really pretty colors. And I like to remember to use this because the colors are really beautiful. So then this is a little, this is actually like a craft little uh, caddy that I got at Michael's. So it's meant for crafts, but I use it as kind of my grab uh, my grab and go makeup station. Um, so I try to keep things in here rather than just putting them on a surface because then I can pull it aside and get to these drawers. So up here I have my two naked palettes. I have the original naked and I have the naked three. The naked three is my favorite. And this 
a little container here is all lip products. So this top drawer is all high-end lip glosses. So this is all of my Buxom. And then I have one MAC lip gloss that was a gift in Playful Petal. And yeah, Buxom. Oh, and I have one Charlotte Ronson, which I've never even opened. And her line is does not exist anymore, but it's pretty color. So these are sort of my high-end lip gloss. And the second level down is lip balms and treatments. So I have like a Vaseline. I have these, uh, these are really fun, these princess lip smackers. They're not the best formula, but they're just really cute. So those are back there. My fresh uh, lip sugars, which I don't love, but I feel like I just get them in sets a lot and as samples. Uh, then just regular lip balms here. And then my e.l.f. moisturizing lip balm. This is really nice. Then I have my drugstore lip balm. So I have one lip gloss. Uh, I have my NYX Mega Shines. My Revlon. Um, this is cool. I don't think I've ever showed this. This was from the Spider-Man collection. It's blue. And I actually like to wear this over red lipsticks. And it kind of makes them more of a blue icy tone. And then I have uh, one Butter London Lippy. These are not great. And then I have two Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush. Yes. This is Drugstore Gloss also, but it's more pigmented. Oh, I have my Maybelline. Uh, these are their lip glosses. They have one of the Alley Girl Glaze Lip Paints. These are similar to the Too Faced Melted. Uh, one Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain. This is really nice. Uh, one of the Maybelline Elixir lip glosses. So these are um, drugstore but very pigmented so they almost work on their own as a lipstick and lip gloss together. And then in the bottom here, I just have a few extra lipsticks that don't fit into this case, but that I'm not ready to get rid of. So uh, I have these Kat Von D minis from her holiday collection last year. Um, this is one color whisper. I don't love these, and I think I might get rid of it, but I wanted to try it one more time. Uh, just a small Makeup Forever red lipstick, uh, a Wet n Wild. These are just less used lipsticks, but things I don't necessarily want to get rid of yet. And then, so that's like the top little shelf. Um, I have my fragrances up here. I can go through those if you'd like, uh, but for today I'm going to stick with makeup. And so then my caddy just goes right back there. And then we move down to this roller cart. So on the top here, I always have my everyday makeup bag. So this is the makeup bag that if I don't have time to do my makeup in the morning or if I want to bring it for touch-ups, I have it. Um, and this is a bag by Lancome that I love because it the zipper unzips it into this strap. So that has like my Naked Basics palette. It has my little bag that I put blotting tissues and then whatever lipstick I'm using as like a really fast touch-up kit. Shiseido eyelash curler. I have a few of these because I always want to have one with me. Um, a little tart highlighter. Just my kind of everyday picks. I can go through my everyday makeup too. Let me know if you would like to see that. So what I have on top of here is this is a um, Sephora brush holder which is really cute and I just have some brushes in here. Then I have behind it, I have my e.l.f. daily brush cleaner, and I do use this every day. Uh, and the way I use this is whatever brushes I use, I spray them down with this afterwards, and then I have this towel in here that I switch out every week, and then I just run them over this towel uh, just to get any of the makeup off. For everyday spot cleaning, I really like this. Then behind that I have my uh, setting sprays. I have a travel one if I want to bring it. With me, I have a large all-nighter, and then I have a backup because I use this product every day. Then here I have uh, like 
jumbo pencils that are eyeliners. Uh, I have one CoverGirl, one, a few uh, Sephora, and then some Urban Decay jumbo pencil liners. Uh, these are good for bases or for liner. Then these are my actual eyeliners. Have a lot of Urban Decay 24-7 liners. This is one MAC. This is the Blackbuster L'Oreal Infallible liner, which is like a felt tip. And this Mally Black is really good. And this is just these are just uh, candle holders. And then this is a box that was uh, a limited edition matte collection came in years ago, but I really love it and I've used it to keep my makeup in. This is all mascara. Favorites would be this is the Lancome Hypnos Star mascara, which is really amazing. And then the L'Oreal Miss Manga I really like. The Defina Seals is really good too, the Lancome Defina Seals waterproof. Really good mascara. So, and then right behind, I have uh, my Cheeky Sweet Spot by Benefit. I'm going to depot these blushes and put them somewhere else, but for now, in the holiday spirit, I'm just keeping it out. This is my Princess Jasmine palette and my Vice palette. And what they're in is this was an Urban Decay Book of Shadows that I've since depotted all the eyeshadows, but it just flips up and there's a little mirror and it just makes a really cute place to hold uh, palettes. So I can kind of keep them out where I can see them. And it's just propped up on a little box. Then we will go into the drawers. In the top drawer here, I have just a little travel brush kit from Sephora, some little mini nail polishes, and a sharpener, my Real Techniques blending sponge, which I love and I use almost every day. I have my color tattoos, which I like to keep out because I use them a lot as bases. Then I have that towel I talked about that I use to clean my brushes every day, my e.l.f. HD powder. This was a Lancome deluxe size sample, but right now what's in here is like a mixture of BB cream, serum, primer, in a color that works for me, and I use that every day instead of just a, a straightforward foundation. So that's the top drawer. These drawers can't hold very much weight, so I have to keep them pretty well edited. The second drawer here is face items. So in the back here I have like deluxe size samples of um, and small samples of like foundations and BB creams and DD creams and all that kind of thing. So this is what I reach for when I want to mix a new batch of my personal BB cream. Here I do have a few foundations. I have the Tarte Amazonian Clay, which is really nice. This Magic Lumi, I love this formula, but this color is a little too orange on me. And the cool range doesn't go light enough. So I like to mix this in with other things and use it that way. Um, this is actually one of my favorite foundations of all time. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Makeup. This is in the color nude and this is a really nice foundation and it's really really cheap and so when I want to just use an actual foundation I use this. It has great coverage, it lasts really well, it doesn't get powdery, uh, it doesn't turn orange on me so I love that. Uh, and then I have an IT Cosmetics uh, foundation and an Arbonne foundation and the Arbonne is too light and the IT is too dark so I just basically use these all mixed together and then here I have this is all primer so I have my That Gal primer which I love uh, a magic perfecting base so this is just foundation primers um, these are like little loose powder setting powders and uh, then these are my face powders this dream wonder one I like but it's too dark um, this Jordana is pretty good has good coverage and then 
My Maybelline Age Rewind is a good kind of just all over setting powder because it has SPF, as is the Bare Minerals Translucent Powder. So that is the face drawer, or the first face drawer. Then I have a second face drawer. And back here I have face palettes. So this is my e.l.f. bronzing and blush palette there. And then this is a e.l.f. Uh, four blush palette. And then this is the Charlotte Ronson palette, which is not available, but this is a nice face palette, just a uh, nice highlight blush and bronzer in there. Here I have some highlights. This is a cream highlight. This is a really nice Physician's Formula highlight. Uh, a what, What's Up by Benefit. And this is like a spotlight highlighting pencil. And then over here are like liquid highlight sunbeam. Uh, a little e.l.f. facial whip. And this Buxom Venus Luminizer. This is a really nice luminizer and I mix this in with my foundation. So there's my highlights. Then we come to the blush drawer. These are kind of bronzers, so this is a Color Icon Wet n Wild Blush Bronzer, a Mini Tarte Bronzer, and a Mini Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. I don't use bronzer very much. So I gave away a lot of the bronzers that I had because don't use them. Um, back here are my MAC. Uh, I have an Archie's Girl blush. And then I have one blush in Dainty and one in Margin. Then I have my Tarte blushes. This is Exposed. And then these are three little minis from the holiday collection last year. These are my Jordana blushes. Jordana makes really nice blushes and they're very cheap. I have a mini Coralista, an e.l.f. blush, a Clinique blush. This is a blush from a Norwegian brand. My Dandelion blush. And then cream blushes. These Master Glaze by Maybelline are really awesome. Then I have one e.l.f. HD blush. So that's my whole blush collection. Then here is eyes. So back here I have just some random eye palettes and some brow products. These are just some random a Shu Mara and an Urban Decay palette. Then these are single pigments and pressed pigments. So these are for Victoria's Secret pigments when they used to make those. One MAC and two of the L'Oreal Infallible pressed pigment shadows, which are really nice. And then here I have Singles from MAC, Urban Decay, uh, Ardency Inn, Lancome, and then this is one from the makeup store. So those are my eyeshadow singles. Then this is more palettes. So this is sort of a partially completed Z palette that I'm still uh, kind of working on what I want to have in there. These are all my iStudio by Maybelline quads. These are really nice quads. And you can often get them on sale, and they're for drugstore, they're really, really good quality. Some little normal quads there, uh, my NYX jumbo pencils, and then my Oz palette and my Too Faced palette. These are two palettes that I don't use very much. Then I have my Wet n Wild drawer. Uh, back here, I have limited edition palettes. Uh, some limited edition palettes here, some of their glitters. These are permanent palettes, and then these are limited edition trios. And I definitely don't use this stuff that much, so I've tried to slow down on trying to buy all their limited edition stuff. Then we have the last drawer, and this is just, these are business cards, tattoos, uh, extra brushes, false lashes, pink mascara, spray, glitter, hair ties, um, my swoon. This is like a lip gloss uh, spatula to get the last out of your lip gloss. Some makeup sponges. So just like tools and things that I don't use every day there. And then under here I have a little box lid 
that has empties in it. So I just keep my empties down there. And that is my whole makeup cart. Hey, so that is my makeup collection. Um, yeah, bye-bye.